What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series here on my third account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Mom Clap and Cheeks, saying that we can get any weapon done on any map, but we have to complete the social distancing challenge while we do it. So that's what we're doing today. And if you want to leave a weapon suggestion, challenge, or what we should upgrade with our Aether Crystals, go ahead and leave it down below. I'll have a comment down there as well with all the other weapons and things that we've upgraded down there. So check that out before you leave your comment. That way we don't get any repeats. And this challenge is going to suck. So uh, I decided just to hop right into it. But if you don't know what the social distancing challenge is, it's a Dark Ops challenge here in Cold War. And it's uh, you have to get to round 20 without taking any damage. It says damage from zombies, but it's any damage at all, including self-inflicted. So if I were to throw this stun that we found on the ground right here, and I got stunned a little bit, it would do damage. If I were to pick up Jug and my health goes from 150 to 250, it takes that as taking damage. If I had stamina up leveled up, to where I don't take fall damage and the spots that I would take fall damage, guess what? It would count as damage. Even though I just take normal fall damage, any kind of damage counts as damage for this challenge. And if we do take any damage, we have to restart. A lot of damage in that explanation, but that's the, what it's all about. We cannot take any. And I'm pretty sure I've done all my social distancing challenges on like all my accounts on this map. I, I know I for sure have tried it on D Machina, but I don't think I was successful. But since we don't have uh, all of our upgrades here, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I looked up some strats and I think the best one I found was from Mystery HQ. So shout out to Mystery HQ. Uh, he had one for every single map. And what I'm going to do is use Toxic Growth. Even though we don't have it fully leveled up to get three charges, you can still place down three bushes. I wouldn't, I, I tested it out. And for this strat, they don't want us to turn power on. So we're not going to be able to get pack a punch, but uh, I think we might be okay. Knock on wood. Y'all got to do it for me. If I take my hands off my, my controller, I might take damage. We have one zombie left in the round. Let's make our way up to helipad. Preemptive shut up peck little bitch boy and i already messed up part of the strategy i was supposed to save my m16 as a blueprint damn dude thunder's hitting hard over here that's the the cod gods yelling at me for not doing the strat right but we can get this m16 over here which is already green tier it looks like it has basically the same attachments maybe i think except for like a jungle clip and maybe a different barrel Hopefully it won't be too bad. Well, we get a free upgrade there. Now we just need a little more cash and we need a little bit more scrap. That way we can get a death machine. We're gonna have to use a death machine to get through this. But as long as we don't turn on power, we won't get any special rounds and we'll get a little less of those special and elites popping up. But we just need a little more money here. There we go. We're gonna open up this. And the place we're gonna be camping out at is right up these stairs. We just don't wanna open up this door. So I'm gonna throw down a toxic growth right here and then we can start building up some more. And then once we have our three toxic growth bushes put down, we're gonna switch to Aether Shroud and I think we'll be chilling. But I forgot how long it takes to level up weapons in this game. Oh wait, there's our first camo. Of course, there's a jackrabbit exactly what we need and I, I forgot to go over the camos before this i was just too eager to hop into it but basically it's 2500 kills 2500 headshots you know 2500 kills uh waltz pack a punched and then we need like all of our jackrabbits and then, then there's some other stuff sprinkled on in there but uh you know we'll get to that once we finish our social our social distancing but what i was saying is that it takes so long to level these weapons up i forgot that there's 50 weapon levels in this i've been playing mono for two for too long and most of those guns don't even go up to like level 30 and i forgot how long it takes to level up weapons just in multiplayer because if you all remember back when we were doing like our uh, second account and for most of our main account we leveled a lot of our weapons up in outbreak and we got them like all the way max level in like an hour and a half. When I was going through multiplayer, it took probably four or five hours. I'm not going to lie to you. And I was just playing like face off 6v6. I was, uh, you know, playing some nuke town. And you know, I was trying different things like throwing out field mics, using those like ammo packs, using the assassin perk. And it was just tough. But we finally got it up all the way up to level 50. Oh, I have another bush. I'm going to put that down right here. But so far, so good. Round six, still a cakewalk. I'm going to start getting scared once we reach like round 10. And what I'm really scared for is when uh, manglers start showing up. Because I want to make sure that I shoot the gun off of their arm. That way, they cannot shoot me from a distance. Because the one of the main reasons I didn't want to play on D-Machina was because of the Megatons. 
Like, I don't want to deal with them. Any sort of projectile I want to stay away from. But we shouldn't get too many manglers within the first 20 rounds. I'm pretty sure they don't even start spawning until like round 15. But this is honestly like a really good early game spot. Like all the zombies have to come from one area here. This is actually like better than kernels for early game. And we have one more toxic growth. So I'll put that here. We have one long conga line of toxic growth. And they're about to break our first push. Yeah, these things aren't that durable without an upgrade. I'll try to earn another one. That way we can replace that and then switch to Aether Shroud for the rest of the game. So I want to try to keep the zombies off of these. But we're doing really well on our jackrabbits. Uh, that's the one bonus to doing it this way. Because if everything goes to plan, then all of our jackrabbits will be pretty much done by the time we hit round 20. And then we can just work on the actual grind. Okay, it's getting a little crowded over here. Toxic growth. Gonna have to put in a little bit of work. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo. And I don't want to jump off of this. What? No! Oh, okay. We got to restart. It just ran right through that toxic growth. I know y'all saw that. Well, our first attempt was a failure. And we really didn't get all that much camo progress besides some jackrabbits. So it's basically like starting fresh. All right. Now, so the cod gods don't yell at me again. I'm going to make this into a blueprint. How do I do that? I'm going to name it PP. Oh, wow. Look at us right on the map for the first time. Oh, my God. I'm pissed we had a restart. But you know what? That was a warm up. Shut up, Peck. Again. Pussy. And now we'll go over here. Make sure that we get our M16. And then we will apply our blueprint to it. We applied PP. Oh, this is fun. I miss doing Dark Ops challenges. We got to get ours done. I mean, we are getting one done here. And I do want to... Get round 100 before I upgrade anything. I think I've decided. We're talking about it for a bit on, you know, what was going to be our challenge to be able to unlock the ability to upgrade things. And I think it's round 100. I was thinking about the Easter eggs, but I feel like that'll probably take the same amount of time as getting to round 100, but just be easier. I want to get to round 100, no upgrades at all. I just want to be able to say that I did that. And we're keeping all the other upgrades on the back burner. I'm pretty sure the only upgrade people have suggested or like in our weapon suggestions so far has been energy mine. So we'll upgrade that first, but I'm probably not going to use it. Oh, and there's our conviction camo. Okay. All of our jackrabbit medals are done. And I would grab this insta kill, but that stops us from getting our toxic growth. So I cannot. Okay. We made it halfway, but I need to switch to Aether Shroud right now. And towards the end of this round, I need to leave a zombie to go see if I can upgrade this M16 to blue. Because that little damage boost is going to help out a ton. Maybe that was not the best place to have the toxic growth. Because that's going to get destroyed immediately. Yeah, it's already gone. Shit. And our other one might get destroyed. This is not good. Yep, it's already gone. Maybe we switch back to toxic growth right now. While we're still in a lower round. This is scary. Definitely do not want that insta-kill. Okay, well, accidentally picked it up anyways. Shit. And this is definitely risky what I'm doing right now. I shouldn't even do it. I'm going back. Do I have enough for the death machine though? I do. Okay. Or at least we have that lifeline. That I kind of want to save for elites, but in the video I saw, he was kind of just using it. Yeah, I'm going to kind of just use it. Oh, I should leave a fucking zombie, but I'm too dumb to remember. All right, fuck it. We're, doing, we're going for it. We're just going to do it. We just have to be fast. Come on. I must turn on power first. Never mind. I can't even do it. I don't even know why I went for it. Y'all were probably screaming at me that I need to turn power on anyways. All right. I better not lose to this. I think we're good. I think we're chilling, though. I think we're fine. Crisis averted. Oh, there's our first mimic spawning. We just gotta lay into him. Can't let it get near me. And we don't have enough to buy another one. So we're gonna have to M16 as much as we can for this round. We're really gonna have to wing it to start out. Let's throw that down. Keep him away. Keep him at bay. Make a mimic just spawned. There it is. Oh no, and I'm out of ammo. Out of ammo for it. Come on. No! Made it all the way to round 14 just for that to happen. Okay, so we really need to just save our death machine for when elites show up. I can't just be using it willy-nilly. You know what? I was still warming up in that last one. This one is the real deal. You know, third time's the charm and all that shit. I can't believe we got hit on fucking round three. This is bullshit. I'm starting to think we might get every camo done for this before we even start pack a punch. Uh, shut up, Peck, you little fuck. I'll be taking this back. Never mind. I'm okay. broke as shit. I got money now. What's up? Apply the PP. 
Oh no, now a mimic's gonna spawn. I'm just gonna act like I didn't see that. Oh, why is there a mimic right where we need to be? No, dude. Oh, that's bullshit. So bullshit. I got fucking jump scared. Why are you in my toxic growth? That's starting to get out of hand. Shut the fuck up, Peck. You little bitch. Bitch boy, Peck. M16. Apply PP. You know what? The box is right here if I get the Ray K. That just makes this way easier. Nope, RPK. Or RPD or whatever. Or if I can just get like a death machine out of the box, that saves me a lot of trouble as well. Come on. Help me out here. That's a machete, not quite. Come on, mystery box. I know you want to help me out here. Please. Oh my god! I really hope I don't do any self-damage with this. I'm not even going to try the noob tube option. But with how many times I've had to restart, I earn this. Okay, well, I earned this aim too. Shout out to the mystery box, man. Keeping an eye out for me. Well, it's a good thing we got this because we're getting like zero blue scrap. So I don't even know if we can get a death machine. Actually, mystery box, you want to help me out with that, that too? Come on. Oh, okay. I was about to lose my shit. One more try. Come on, mystery box. I know you want to help. Okay, whatever. I guess you helped out enough. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. And we're going to switch to Aether Shroud because I feel like at this point, we're probably pretty good. I almost took fall damage there. I really got to be careful. But bring it on, Mimic. I have a fucking death ray. I want to see your bitch ass try to get over here. Okay, a Mimic just spawned. Dirty little bastard. Where are you? There it is. Already dead. Sick. I almost got hit by a crawler right there. Let me get this nuke. Maybe we can sneak our way out of this round. Cool. But that was scary. I didn't even know there was a crawler right here. I think that the toxic growth killed it just before it could do any damage to me. That would have sucked. I would have been so pissed. Taking damage from a crawler while I got lucky enough to get the Ray K. Be the biggest fumble of my life. Okay, I think we've tied our record so far. We literally just need six more rounds. That's it. Okay, a mangler just spawned. That's not good. I need to find where he is and kill him now. There he is. All right, he's dead. Woo. That was like our biggest threat. <sighs> Come on. Just a few more rounds here. Another mangler has spawned. And we lost our toxic growth by the stairs. Okay, we're getting low on ammo for our ray K. So just to be sure. Let's get the mangler and everything with this. And now we can just tap this. No need to lay down on the trigger. It only takes a little burst to kill him. A little dollop will do you. Oh, thank God, dude. Three more rounds. Come on. Another mangler? Why are they spawning so often? There's the bastard. I think he's dead. And my death machine is out of ammo, so I need to buy another one. Okay, round 18. Come on. Let's just go buy this death machine and maybe a decoy or two. There's our death machine. Mimic, if you spawn here, I'm going to be pissed. All right. Good job, Mimic. So that decoy. Good job, zombie. Way to go to it. Another one. Don't touch me, please. Bitch ass mangler. Dead. One more round to go. That's it. Just one. I am frightened. Okay, decoy's going out. And I think I just need to death machine this. We're doing it. We're fucking doing it. Now, I don't remember if we have to survive round 20. Okay, I think we do. Oh, wait, no, we got it. Let's go. We got our social distancing done. Okay, now we can actually start working on, uh, you know, getting our camos. Holy shit. Oof, what a weight off my shoulders. That's a fun way to start a, a grind, though. I won't lie. Cool challenge. Yeah, we can take a hit. Don't care. Already got the challenge done. All right, Dr. Pack, we can start turning these on. Grind the rail. All right, Aether Reactor is on. And I'm going to use my fucking death machine for it because I earned it. I only have 14 bullets for it, though. So maybe I'm going to Aether Shroud right now. Mangler, I don't need you trying to get my Aether Reactors. You know what? How do I change the firing mode on this? There we go. We'll just toss that over here. Mangler, go be a bitch somewhere else. And we got it done somehow. Let's get the second one on. And second reactor's done. Now let's see if this would have gave us fall damage. Oh, no, it wouldn't. Okay. So I could have jumped off there the whole time, but I was just too scared to try it. All right, let's get this last reactor on. And there we go. Easy. You know what? I'm going to try out Ring of Fire Tier 1 for a little bit of this grind. We're going to see what it's like. And since this is already blue over here, we can skip an upgrade by buying that. Apply the PP. We'll throw a decoy. Zombies, enjoy yourselves. We get pack one and two. And now we can finally start getting our pack punch kills done. Damn, dude. Let's, uh, oh, wait, never mind. Can't buy any more perks. I got one zombie left, though, and I'm going to go ahead and do the bunny Easter egg. Oh, wait, two zombies. My bad. Didn't mean to forget you. Come on, bunny. 
Let's do this before the round starts. Come on, dude. You don't got all day. Come on. Over here. Hey. Bitch ass zombie. Hey, let's not die here. Let's not do that. You know what? I'd rather pay for Jug. All right, let's stun all these fuckers. Quick ring of fire. And we just hit our 50 kills while pack a punch. Well, I'm pretty sure we're at like 500 for everything else. All right, well, fuck the bunny Easter egg. I'm not doing it. Bro's trying to get me killed. Give me dead shot right now. I guess we'll take Jug. And I'm getting out of here. I don't like being in the spawn village. This shit's gonna get me killed. Mimic, don't even try me. That's what I thought. What the fuck is hitting me? Let's not go down. What, what was I just saying, bro? Come on. Dumb. Should have threw a decoy. Well, this might be my last stand. I'm gonna throw a decoy. Off the ring of fire. Oh no, we're chilling. So weird using a ring of fire and still seeing ammo leave like the mag. I'm so used to like fully upgraded ring. All right, we need to uh, get a few things before this mangler goes ahead and uh, becomes deceased. Actually, if I can get over here and I can cryo freeze him, I'll try for the Easter egg again. Come on, get cryoed, please. All right, well, or die like a pussy. Oh, we have our first uh, assault wave. You know what? Can we do this during the assault wave? I don't give a shit if they turn off power. I'll turn it back on. What do you think, bunny? Can we do it during an assault wave? I don't think the bunny wants us to. We gotta shoot you or something? Whatever. Keep your secrets. I guess we'll go do what we're supposed to do on the map. And I saw all the zombies to wait for me and come at me in a single file line so I can get crits. Mimic just showed me his asshole. He taunted on me while the other Mimic grabbed me. That's kind of fucked up. For the dynamic duo. Mimic said I just fucked an ugly bitch named Aquanetta. Is that it? Oh no, there's a whole nother wave coming? This is the longest assault wave I've ever done. Like they saved the first one that we skipped. There we go. Now I don't know where I'm gonna grind at. I think maybe in kernels, just for fun. But I know we're about to get like overwhelmed in here. Nope, 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 nope. Not about to go down. No, thank you. I do not want to go down. I'm good, actually. I think we might have had a better grind spot before we turned on power. Maybe I should have left that door closed and went around the other way. Maybe what I should do is train around near kernels. And then when I have a ring of fire, I go up to kernels, pop it, try to use it there. And if that don't work, I don't know, we're boned. I'm just trying to find an efficient way to do this while incorporating training. This ring of fire can't carry us. All right, we got a ring of fire. Let's see if this works. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Try to make sure they're all trained. I'm going to go right here and pop it. Okay, the damage increase is still crazy. We just don't have the added benefit of shooting from our stock. Okay, we're at 750 crits. Still so many to go. Holy shit. This is going to be a tough battle with Orta too. This whole grind's going to be tough. Oh my Lanta, there's no way, dude. Okay, well, at least I can buy another self-revive and there's like no zombies left in my round, but that sucks. Oh, and here's our assault wave. Perfect timing, Orta. You're lucky I don't got a ring of fire, motherfucker. But I think I should be able to do fine without it. Go ahead and spawn in. Come on down. And I'll just lay into him. It actually does so much damage still, even without ring of fire. 900 something per shot with a three round burst. Oh yeah, you're getting cooked for sure. Just you wait till I get this ring of fire. Oh, and now they're getting close. Back the fuck up. Or get smacked the fuck up, your choice. Oh, he's critting, perfect timing. And 2,400 per shot. Just eat shit already and die, Orta, for everybody's sake. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna use the cruise missile just to clear these guys out. And we'll hit them with it. Oh, that actually did a decent bit. Zombies, I need you guys to leave the reactor alone. This ain't cool, man. And he's getting close to actually absorbing it. So we need to hit him right in his prolapse. Come on. Just die already. You big dipshit. Oh, come on. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Just in time, too. Oh, shit. He actually does kind of have a penis. You see it right there? Later, bitch. But that was definitely more difficult than uh, it needed to be. So whoever leaves a weapon suggestion and they tell me to upgrade Ring of Fire, I'll love you forever. I really need that Ring of Fire. Starting to get a little hairy up here. Gotta throw a few stuns. And gotta go down a few times, I guess. Fuck. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No way we're down again. Not going down again. I... Okay, maybe I will. Fuck me, dude. Okay. I don't know why I keep coming back to kernels. I just keep going down. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All of our kills are done. We're still a bit behind on our crits and our pack-a-punch. 
But we're actually making a, a little bit of progress here. Oh, uh, not again. Fuck me. Oh, shit. I don't even have a... I don't even have a, a self-revive. Okay. Let's see if I can actually pull off a tombstone here. If not, then we have to completely restart our game. Like the 14th time today. All right. We're tombstone all the way over here. Come on. There we go. Honestly, I would not be opposed to dying right now. It would suck to have to get pack a punch all the way back, but round 40 is kind of crazy. I feel like I might be faster just to die again. Not that I'm going to do it willingly. Okay, fuck me. I just got wombo comboed. And I can't afford another self revive, even with 420 blue scrap. First of all, weed. Second of all, I've been down eight times. What? I just got bitch slapped by a mimic out of existence. All right, that's fine with me, honestly. I just want to see where we're at camo wise. Oh, yeah. Look at that nine downs. Ridiculous. So, rotten's all done. We knew that. Liquid, we need about 500 more crits. That's not terrible. 500 more pack punch kills. Our special elites are done. Rapidly is done. Okay, so we just need crits and pack a punch. We can do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and knock the rest of this out on D Machina because uh, it's taking way too long and D Machina is pretty fast for uh, just killing the normal zombies. So, okay, we're all done with our pack a punch camos. We just need crits now. That's it. Oh, there's Gold Viper, finally. Oh, this is probably the longest it's taken for me to get Gold Viper in a while. And it's only going to be longer and longer every time we do it. Pause. Oh, we already had x open, so let's try that. Let's see if we can actually get out of here. Get him splitting. Let's try to take out the rest of these zombies. Oh, shit. Oh, they're kind of beating my ass. I'm using nades. Fuck it. Only got a minute left. I think we can do it. Only four zombies. Two of them are the Megaton. And goodbye, crawler. All right, get me out of here, Raptor 1. Look, I was almost stuck on that rock. I would have been pissed. All right, let's go. Whew. Okay, the final stats for our 40th fucking game just to get this gun done. 97,000 score, 740 eliminations, 526 crits. No revives, no downs for once. I also completely forgot to show that we did get our social distancing calling card. It's right here. We actually got a few new calling cards, but I'm gonna throw that on since that's our first Dark Ops one. And just in case you're curious, this is what the M16 looks like with Golden Viper. This is actually very good coverage on this weapon. A lot of the launch guns in this game didn't have great coverage, but the M16 is not one of those. I mean, it is a launch gun, but it looks pretty good. Well, there you have it. We got our M16 Golden Viper while doing the social distancing Dark Ops challenge. It might have taken a few games just to get the social distancing done, but what I'm realizing now is that we need to get upgrades stat because this is taking forever to get things done. So I think before we even go and do another Dark Aether weapon, you, can, you guys are still free to leave all your like suggestions and everything down below. But I need to do this challenge of trying to get to round 100. That way we can actually start upgrading stuff. So if you made it this far, please leave a comment for upgrading Ring of Fire. Please, I beg you. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.